Hey guys, my name is Shy. Welcome to another pick a card yes or no reading. I actually just posted a pretty quick two card taroscope style readings for April. If you're interested in that, I'll link it somewhere up there, I think. Other than that, let's get right to it. It's cards number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, card number one. The Hermit. This is a no if you're asking about doing anything. <laughs> this is a no for most things that you'd be asking about, let me tell you, because the Hermit is not a, not a man of action. He's not a man of the world. He's not a man of doing. The Hermit sits inside uh, his, of his Hermit cave and his Hermitage, sits on a rock in the middle of the ocean, and he cultivates his inner strength. This is a really good card to get, but I just don't see it as a yes in this kind of reading. So even though this is a no, don't like be discouraged. Don't lose heart because you're being asked here to look within and find your own inner guiding light. If you keep actually asking questions to the universe, to your guides, to your angels, whatever, if you're looking for guidance on the outside, this card is saying like, stop, you need to look inside yourself. You have all of the wisdom and knowledge you need inside of yourself. You don't need anybody else. You can light your own lamp. So this is a no, but it's still a good card. Look inside of yourself, guys. You don't need anybody but yourself. Okay, pile number two. The Emperor. Well, this is a yes. This is also a great card to get in Aries season. The Emperor obviously symbolizing Aries. <laughs> you guys can basically, whatever you asked about, you can probably get away with it. <laughs> you have the authority, the power, the wisdom, the potential, the resources, the community support, the information, all of it. The Emperor, What does the Emperor not have, right? The Emperor has everything. Not only does he have worldly uh, resources. He also has a connection to the divine. He also has a connection to the cosmos because, you know, the emperor and the empress are these like translation points between higher realms and the earthly realms. So, I mean, it's, it's a yes. It's fantastic. It's awesome. I don't have anything else more to say about it. Okay. Card number three. Lovers. This is a yes. <laughs> especially a yes for anything romantic, but also a yes for anything spiritual. It's a sign that two things can become one. If you're trying to decide between two things, you maybe, maybe you don't need to decide. Maybe you can figure out how to weave them together. How can two things become greater than the sum of your parts? Just imagine baking a cake or maybe a better example would be baking a chocolate cake, right? If you take flour and cocoa on their own, those are kind of inedible, right? But when you mix them together along with some other stuff, you mix it together, you do the chemistry, you do the alchemy, you come out with a chocolate cake, <laughs> right? So you, you can create a chocolate cake both with your own soul and with your soul mates because that's sort of the same thing, right? Your soul mates would be sharing, over souls, sharing an oversoul with you, sharing an aspect of your oversoul with you anyway. So... You guys are coming together, either you and yourself or you and some other human who is also just kind of another version of yourself. <laughs> you guys are coming together, mixing together and creating something new. You are creating a chocolate cake. Yep, that's a yes. Definitely a yes. And card number four, Ace of Swords. You know... <laughs> The Ace of Swords can be a little bit of a struggle for me because I wiffle waffle on it, different ideas about it, different days. I bet in another reading, another video, I probably said the Ace of Swords was a yes, but I got to go with my intuition on the spot. So right now I pulled this, I got a bad vibe. I felt like it was a no. I felt like it was sharp, cold, steely, and aggressive. The instigator of conflict. If somebody is trying to instigate conflict, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, don't, you'll, you'll just end up slicing your own hand. Yeah, I, I just, I don't feel great. Like, there's, this sword is stabbing through a crown. Like, it's not, it's not giving me a good vibe today. 
So no, this Ace of Swords is a no. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. And card number five, the Fool. The Fool is a yes. Um, whatever you guys are thinking about doing, you are going to do anyway, no matter what I was going to say about it. <laughs> um, it's definitely a yes to step out and embark on your journey, but watch out for the cliff here, guys. He's looking up at the sky. He doesn't know that the cliff is like, that he's about to step off the cliff. If he takes one more step, he's going to fall. So as you embark on your new journey, as you continue forward, reinventing yourself, you guys are reinventing yourself, whatever you're asking about. It's a reinvention of something. But just make sure, try to pay a little bit of attention to the details because the fool, there's this danger of not watching where you're going. So also the fool doesn't tell you that whatever, that your journey is going to be, that it's going to go where you think it's going to go, right? You don't know where this journey is going to take you, but the fool is a, is a yes saying, start your journey, embark on this project, start your, do it, do it, but you don't know where it's going. So don't be attached to the outcome because you don't know what that outcome is going to be yet. Okay, card number six, Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. You got the gold in your hand. You got the gold in the palm of your hand. You have something in the palm of your hand and it's good. Maybe you feel like, you know, you don't just want one pentacle. You want 10 pentacles in your hand. Well, I mean, that's fine. But I think this card wants you to know that you have enough, that your one pentacle is enough. You know, if you only have one package of toilet paper left, and you feel like, you know, you need to hoard up, you need to stock up, you need to get 10 packs of toilet paper. Well, no, you're okay. It's okay to just have one. With this card, I would say trust that the universe will provide you with what you need. Not necessarily always what you want, but you'll have what you need. You already have what you need and you're good. You're good. You have what you need. This is a yes. You have what you need. That's the message here. Okay, card number seven. Queen of Pentacles, definitely a yes. You guys are managing to sit in luxury and comfort in the midst of all of this madness. This is a really good sign. I like to see people like this because I've been having a pretty good time, honestly. Honestly, guys, in quarantine, it's things have been pretty going pretty good for me. And sometimes that feels a little bit alienating. <laughs> I feel like people are going to judge me if I'm not, you know, suffering in misery along with everybody else. But you guys aren't, you guys don't need to suffer in misery with everybody else. You can sit here in your comfort, in your abundance, and observe what is happening to the people around you, but not let that, you know, drag you down into the mud. So with this, with this card, I would almost say this is like stay the course. I mean, it's a yes. Queen of Pentacles is definitely a yes. But the added message here is like, keep doing what you're doing. Sit in your stability and stay the course. Okay, card number eight. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, unfortunately, guys, this is where I have to disappoint everybody. This isn't a yes or a no. This is a maybe. This is a maybe. This is it depends. <laughs> um, the wheel, because it all, all depends on where you at. Are you sitting on the top of the wheel? If you're sitting on the top of the wheel, well, now your wheel is going to go down and you're heading to the bottom. But if you're at the bottom of the wheel, that's when you like to get the Wheel of Fortune, right? Because that's when you go up. So it depends where you already are. I would say if you're in a shitty situation, this is a really good sign. This is a yes, meaning that you are on your way up. If you're already in a really good position, this is a little bit dangerous because something might dis destabilize you. But always with the wheel, it's sort of like a trick card because you don't need to ride the wheel. You don't need to ride the outside of it. Sit in the center of the wheel. Wouldn't it be better to sit in the middle of this wheel while it revolves? Because then you're not going up or down. You're sitting in stability, in neutrality, in the middle. And these like waves, even though you see them happening around you, you don't need to like participate in them. You can sit in your own stability, in your own sovereignty in the middle. So with this card, I would say no matter where you are, top or bottom of the wheel, sit in the middle. Find your center. Find your center, guys. Find a way to sit in equanimity, in neutrality, in non-judgment, in non-duality. This card is an invitation to non-duality. Stop looking for yes or no answers is what this one says, actually. Stop looking for yes or no. Stop looking for security. Stop looking for safety and certainty. There is no cer certainty other than the fact that everything is cyclical. If you want to exit out of these cycles, 
The only thing you can do is sit in the middle. Get centered, guys. Get centered. Practice non-duality. And card number nine. Seven of Pentacles. This is a not yet. Not yet. I think whatever you're asking about could happen in the future. And you need to work on it. This guy is growing his garden, right? He's working his garden. He's like, man, this is sure a lot of hard work. I wish, like, when are my, when are, when are, when are my crops going to grow, right? When is harvest time? Well, harvest time is not yet. But if you diligently work on what you're doing, and if you wait patiently, eventually this will come to fruition. I think it might take a few months. It might take a few months for this not yet to turn into a yes. I think the yes is definitely on the horizon, but you guys have to wait. I know how frustrating Seven of Pentacles is because it's always that wait, wait, wait. But, I mean, it is what it is. You got to wait this one out, guys. Hang in there. Not yet. But if you tend to your garden properly, this will turn into a yes farther down the road. Just think, you got to wait for harvest time. He, he can't harvest his crops until the crops are ripe. You have to wait for this to ripen. And card number 10. Four of Swords. Well, that's a no. This card is a big fat invitation to sit in like recovery. You guys need to relax. You need to chill out. Whatever chaos and pain has been happening to you, you need to find a way to like unplug from it and, you know, take a nap, take a chill pill. You, you, this, this is a card of recovery. So no, and it's also a card of waiting. So no. This is a no, don't do whatever you're asking about. Unless you were asking about taking a nap, right? You always have to like figure out the energy of these cards and interpret your specific yes or no. But mostly this is a no saying don't do anything. This is like, don't do anything. You need to just relax. You need to look after yourself. You need to lick your wounds, go into meditation, contemplation, prayer, sleep. You, you guys need to sleep. You need to cocoon up by yourself and recover. Yeah. This is a no to doing anything. This is a card of inaction. The only thing you should be doing when you get the Four of Swords is to wait, rest, sleep, and recover. And I think that's it. If you guys are interested in watching quick April tarot scopes for each sign of the Zodiac, uh, again, I'll link that video somewhere here, and I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. Hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.